and we are back on our bike again and moving and I'm going in the right direction at least two Google Maps told me so and it's actually informed me that I have to go to, uh, to the left somewhere probably is about here on a bike lane well just started three minutes ago so go for a while and then stop again let's see now ten minutes past one let's do another 15 minutes of bike riding relax a bit and continue and I'm now having wind in my back again Phew. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome uh, to part two by the way, when you did not see part one please click in the description box and there you can find a playlist for part one also when you rewind to the beginning of the video there will be a cart about five or ten seconds in with a link to the first video this of course is Dijk's bike blogger on my way for a longer trip from Groningen to Appingedam there will be multiple parts currently watching part 2 don't know how many parts it's going to be I will find out in the edit which I'm going to do of course later bike rider on better equipment than I have I'm on a normal bike actually it's a Gazelle Gazelle tour bike or transport bike what do you want to call it it's built in 1963 wide tires fenders quite heavy bicycle frame is from iron or metal or steel whatever you want to call it and everything is super super heavy the rims are all metal steel that is no aluminum on this bike I think I think the weakest part on the bike is me the squishy meaty bit I'm actually now on a piece of bike lane normally when I would be over there on the parallel to the Rijksweg but I thought to myself let's do something different and I did it's a nice bike lane no whooshing of traffic normally there would be a lot of car traffic pushing by I don't like that this is more relaxing more quiet Not sure what that dude was saying. Not important. Maybe he said good afternoon or something, I don't know. By the way, good choice not to put on my jacket. Sun is even getting out a little. There is some cloudy clouds, uh, above cloudy sky above me in the distance too, so don't know what's going to happen with that. 
hopefully no rain and when there's rain this should be coming from behind and I tend to think I'm faster than the rain but well maybe not they will turn between 20 and 25 k an hour when there is rain and it goes faster of course then I will be overtaken by the rain clouds But so far things go quite okay. But I can say that can change in a minute. Hopefully, well, let's be positive and let's think there will be no rain. Bikes are right away on this stretch of road, this crossing. Let's roll for a bit. Let's see what's the time. Eight minutes in. By the way, my other option for going from Groningen was by train which is not something I like to do. First of all, it costs money. Second of all, I have to walk to the train station from my home and from the train station to my parents' home, which is, well, not the biggest trip, but I don't like to walk. And now I am quite flexible with the bike. I can start and stop whenever I want. And actually, when I count the walking from my home to the station and from the station and up again on the railway station to my parents, it will be a total time will be uh, about the same Nice quiet area, let's see some people there. Let's see if I can move over another part of the bike lane so we don't have to bother each other. Looks like that's going very well. People are not making any attempts to move over, but that's okay. Room enough for everybody. Everybody. Well, it looks like I entered already a part of Tambour, I think. Let's have a look, a better look. I'm not really sure, but could be. Let's see. There is a sign in the distance. They're on scooter with a lot of perfume on her because I smelled it. No smelly TV, but smelled good. Smelled nice. And yes, this here, this is here is Tenboer. The small city of Tembur, actually a part of the municipality of Groningen. What's the car driver going to do? Thank you. Just informing them it's going along. Otherwise maybe I will hit a horse or something else. And that's not something you want to do because you, or you, I definitely will lose with my bike with a horse. And a horse on the handlebars, no, not so much. Don't like it, don't need it, don't want it. Don't need it, don't want it, don't like it. No horsey, no horsey on the bike. And when I probably, well, when the horses would have crossed my bike <laughs> and I would have hit it, it would be kicked, uh, kicked by the horsey. 
and horseshoe on your head well it does make for a uh, nice nice hospital uh, visit when you survive of course that's a net, net thing bonky bonky a little bumpy let's see where we will go next next time around a corner to the right another corner to the left and then continue straight I think probably I'll have to stop and have a look at the map again then I have to see where I will have to go and don't get lost on the on the area because that's quite easy to do when you take a wrong direction or the wrong path you probably went up at a farmhouse with no option to continue dead end and then you have to turn around and that's something I really 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 would not want to do well tambour let's leave a little to the left here right I mean car behind me now overtake overtook me overtaking tooking taking waking gee normally I would go take a left here right here or somewhere uh, this and uh, no, this here normally I would go here to the left uh, to the right but I when I get from Apergedam to Groningen I will take a be coming from here but let's change things Thank you nice new houses by the water And from these birds are called Meerput, that's a Dutch word, and I searched on Google a Meerput is a coot. Not sure if that's correct, but that's what Google told me. And of course Google can get it wrong. Google is of course normally the holy bible of information, but that is also not something that Google can get it wrong too because information on Google they have it is put on there by me people and Piopoli can make mistakes let's see where do I have to go where will I go let's see there's an information sign about a dead end but that's only when I go this way I should be able to go this way Ah, nice headwind again. Oh, jolly nice. Let's go over the bridge. Oh, indicating somewhere where it is we going. Let me have a look. Well, something, something route. Duk, duk, duk. Not a well driven bridge, I think, so. Let's see if I can stop here. It's going to the right here. Left, I mean, man, 